All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. And in this episode, we will discuss what I have found is the best method to remove textured bed liner paint. Keep watching. Yeah, so as we discuss here, I've tried a few things on this textured paint, as you can see here. And I actually got this from Home Depot. Uh, I'm not going to give up on it yet, but I've tried it, and it didn't even budge it. And I said it, let it sit on there for like five hours. Now, I have heard from somebody else that put paint stripper on it and then cover it in plastic where the fumes won't escape and it might work better. So I might go ahead and try that up here on top, paint a whole bunch of it up there, cover it in plastic and we'll see if it works. Now, as far as the other tools that I have tried, I have tried these flap disc. These work really good and it cuts it super fast. I was surprised. And the other thing I got is these abrasive wheels. Now, I'll show you on my drill here. Um, this is what it looks like. It just looks kind of like a sponge, but it's uh, rough. But this thing, it does pretty good too. I mean, it takes a little bit longer than like a flap disc. Uh, also on my thing here, I have a 60 that I tried and this is 120, but it does it pretty fast, but you know, this is a lot of real estate to be doing all by hand to get this crap off. But I guess if that's what it's going to take, that's what it's going to take. So I was hoping the paint stripper would work. But we still won't give up on it yet till I try the plastic method. And then um, we'll go from there. As you can see, I mess around on the door too. So let's get going. Enough talking. And I'll uh, do a couple of these and show y'all on film. But I won't take y'all through the anger of what, letting y'all see all this. So we'll time lapse the rest. All right, as you can see here, we got a pretty good spot done. Um, I was really liking the um, flat disc 60 grit the best. It really, uh, I, in my opinion, cuts it faster. And also, it doesn't give such a harmonic imbalance on the grinder to drive your freaking hand so numb versus that abrasive pad because it's like so big it just and it's oh, that's rough on your hand after a while but yeah that seems to me right now seems to be working the best because if i can at least knock it down to like this i can use my palm sander and smooth this out the right way I don't want to get too far down to a lot of bare metal because I don't have my uh, primer sealer right now. And I don't want all this to start rusting up. So we're not going to try to get too crazy with taking it all the way to the metal. Just knocking this big rubber off. So There's a little bit of the progress though. Not too bad. You can see here got a little bit further along got the top up there she's looking like a zebra now <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> 